Hello for the final time today from Wigan, the Robin Park Tennis Centre, where we have dished out a couple more tour cards here on day two of PDCQ School. I'm going to take them one at a time. The first one we're going to talk about, we were so close to a piece of history being made. Lisa Ashton, the four-time Ladies World Champion, the Lancashire Rose, are looking to become the first woman ever to win through PDCQ School, up against a Lunkai fan in a cracker of a game, less than a point in it in the averages. But Lisa not quite able to get the job done. We'll show you the winning moment here. A man of many names, Lunkai fan, Kai fan Lung, Kevin Lung, Fat Beauty, he's also known as, what you can call him, is a PDC Tour Card winner. Royden Lamb, of course, Wam Bam Royden Lamb, one of the Asia Tour players, has won a Tour Card before. And Kevin follows in his footsteps. Fabulous last leg. Left himself on 81 after nine darts. That's what was needed to stop Lisa Ashton today. Bowing down to her, but going on to the PDC. Kevin, congratulations. What a day for you. Yeah, it's fabulous. I mean, never thought I could sustain that long. I mean, Roland did it two times. My previous Q2 was in 2017, and I come back again. I mean, I never thought I can do it this time. It's actually one step at a time some games this last two days you've played brilliantly 107 average 102 yes. average that means you can live with the best in the world doesn't it not really i mean i didn't live here i mean now i got a two card i mean my, me and my family probably would love to move over here and then to compete I mean, to, to compete with all the big, 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 big names. I mean, I'm still emerging, I'm still a new guy. So I hopefully can do better to, you know, to compete with the rest of the people. What was it like in your final game? Lisa Ashton, she's got so many supporters here. She, people want to see history made. And you put an incredible last leg to, to steal it away from her. Yeah. I mean, for, for me, I want Lisa to win as well. I mean, I didn't notice that I played Lisa in the, in, in the last game. You know, everyone is shouting for her. For me, I wanted her, her to win as well, but it's very strange to play her. I mean, you know, it's very tough when I watch all the games, any PDC big names or play against her in the World Championship. They give, give, they give the guy a trouble, so I know there's a trouble there. You've got a tour card for two years. How much are we going to see you playing on yeah, the PDC Tour? That's very awkward as well. I mean, Royden did it two times. He didn't spend his time here. You know, I want to stay here. I want to play here. I want to see how much I can go. So, see how, how it goes, man. And just finally, you, you've played Asia Tour stuff, a, a relatively new thing with the PDC setting up the Asia Tour. Do you think that that's helped the standard improve? Has that helped you coming here to do this? Exactly, exactly. I mean, Asian Tour is now two years from now. We, 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 we all fight to get into the World Cup. I did once or twice. Huh? And we all fight to get into the World Championship. That's what we all, all we want to you know, to, to, to keep, live our dream, to play darts, because that's the hope. And now, all of a sudden, because of the Asian tour, people gaining experience, getting better, and actually we can do it, and we can fly over here and to do it again. I mean, it's amazing, it's amazing. I never could, I never thought about I can, I can go this far, but I mean, the Asian tour helps a lot, and all the other rest of the tournaments helps a lot. Well, you have done it. You've thanks. Your hopes, your dreams. Congratulations, yeah, Kaifan. Hopefully man. we see you a lot more yeah, of man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Cheers. 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 Kaifan Lund winning the tour card, denying Lisa Ashton a spot in the record books. But this man got the other. Bradley Brooks. Congratulations, Bradley. Cheers, well done. He saw off Damon Hetta 5-3 in the end. Let's have a look at your winning darts. Just talk us through. What's going through your head at this point? Don't miss. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was... With the way my darts kick over, I was just thinking, if you're going to miss, go on the outside for a mark. I thought it went perfectly where I wanted it, so yeah, it was easy to miss. It was harder to miss after that.
Well, look, when we spoke earlier, I mentioned that yesterday you were fuming. There was, there was bottles being thrown around and chairs being stamped down. This means a lot to you. To make up for it today, to come through, to go with all those games, beat some quality players as well. That that's that says something about your character, doesn't it? Yeah, yesterday, as you've seen, I, w I wasn't happy. Uh, I was gutted. In, in my head, I was so confident, maybe a bit overconfident. I thought first day, get it done, and but it didn't work out like that. But then today, I've gone in with the same mindset, thinking you're going to do this, like, and then it's worked out today. But yeah. It's one of them I've been practicing really hard for this and all the practice paid off. There's been some really good stuff today. We saw against Noel Cullerton, the guy who nearly hit the nine data against you. You took out a 170, 100 average pretty much in that game, certainly very close. You had a little bit of luck against Mike Flynn just in the quarterfinals there, didn't you? 4 1 down and surviving match darts. Yeah, he was he was a really good player. His uh, switching was brilliant. Uh, I just thought to myself, he was missing. I just thought, keep going, put the pressure on because I'd rather. M uh, in it, hit it and then me lose then going back to the hotel thinking why didn't why did I give up so I did that and then went for all my from I didn't do what I did yesterday I had a good leg and seen it off yeah a lot of people talk about Q school as being this golden ticket a chance to get up there and, and play with the big boys and see what you can do you've, you've won this ticket already you've had a two-year spell and we've seen you make ranking quarterfinals we've seen you playing TV events but you have sometimes have to take a step back before you can take two steps yeah. forward, don't you? I think at the time, it, I, I wouldn't have said this, but going back like, over the last couple of weeks, I think the best thing ever happened to me was losing my tour card because I've been more hungry, put more hours in, and at the minute I feel like a different player. I feel more confident. I don't feel like I'm going to lose. Where before it was coming up and like instead of me thinking I'm going to win this, it was let's win four legs, let's win three legs. I know this is not playing against the best players in the world, but it's not far off the standard here this week. This week is ridiculous. I mean, uh, you, know, you said to us before we came on air, actually, uh, less FIFA, more practice. That works, yeah? Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> if anyone gets a mum telling them or anyone get off FIFA practice, I was the first one to say, no, it doesn't work. But yeah, it definitely does. Back on the tour, what now? I mean, obviously, you know, you've got two years. We know that you've got talent, but it's about doing it consistently, isn't it? You must look at somebody, same part of the world as you, Nathan Aspinall, dropped off the tour because he wasn't in that top 64. And when he came back, he came back stronger. Yeah, uh, yeah I know Nathan dead well. He's a class player. Uh, if I do anything like he's done, I'll be happy. Mm. But uh, yeah, just I'm going this year to, I'm completely different, like I've said, a completely different player. But I'm not got much pressure on me this year because for some reason, last couple of years, last two years I was on, I was putting so much pressure on myself. But I think that's what, so, like sometimes I go there feeling good and I was just worried, but I'm completely different now, a different mindset and feeling good, yeah. Well, it should be feeling good. Bradley Brooks, uh, a winner of the tour card, one of the two tour cards we've dished out today. Mike Decker winning over in Germany. Uh, Lunkai fan winning along with Bradley. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow for day three of Q School. Bradley won't be back playing, but you will be back watching, won't you? Yeah, 100% coming to watch, watch everyone suffer. Yeah, yeah. It'd be a, lo a lot easier, that. Yeah. It'd be a lot yeah. easier. Yeah. Congratulations again to Bradley Brooks and our other winners today. Lisa Ashton, so close to history. But I tell you what, she's going to take some stopping for the next couple of days. See you tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.